Being part of the pro-life movement is something completely beautiful. Being part of the movement that is for life. As seminarians for a culture of life, we strive to spread our pro-life message to our seminary, to our community, and to our parishes. In these next few moments, you'll get to hear some of the answers from various questions that we asked a few seminarians. The first one revolves around their experience at the Walk for Life, which we recently attended as a seminary. The second one involves their experience as seminarians within the culture of life. And finally, the third one and the fundamental question they ask and they answer is, why am I pro-life? Why are you pro-life? We take forward and we walk forward with the initiative and the call of St. John Paul II to build a culture of life. We recall and we recant this special quote from him. The promotion of the culture of life should be the highest priority in our societies. If the right to life is not defended decisively as a condition for all other rights of the person, all other references to human rights remain deceitful and illusory. It is important that as seminarians within the culture of death stand up and promote the culture of life. It's important that we stand firm. Within these next few moments, you'll hear those special answers to those questions. Let us together stand for the culture of life. Let us together stand to build a culture of life. And together, we will end this injustice done to women, children, and families. The Walk for Life experience was a very great experience for me. I think it was a great experience for all of us seminarians up here at Mount Angel. We all come up to Mount Angel for uh, different reasons, but one of the main reasons why we come up to Mount Angel is that we all want to learn how to bring God's love to the earth, to everyone around us, to everyone in our backyard. Back on the 20th when we did the Walk for Life, down in San Francisco, we had a chance to actually do that, to show everyone what we love and what we believe in, even to those that don't like us or wanted to speak negatively against us. We could still show them our love while we're there. It was different. I've gone to the March for Life in D.C., and while being there, um, I was able to see that people came in from different backgrounds. The Walk for Life at San Francisco was a little different. It was at the cusp of the presidential election and inauguration, and it came also with different tensions than I had seen before. Um, but I was overjoyed to see that families were involved, that it wasn't just young people, but it was old as well, that people from different backgrounds and different faiths came together to celebrate life and to really march for life, to voice our opinions in these changing tides. Well, this is my second year going to the Walk for Life in San Francisco, um, and for me, it always strikes me, or at least in the previous year, as for this year, it strikes me in a personal note because the weekend that we go to the to San Francisco for the Walk for Life, um, it also happens to be uh, on my birthday, and it just makes me. Both times it's made me reflect a lot on my life, and what a great gift it is. And um, so my experience is always of of someone that obviously wasn't aborted, and I'm thankful for that for my parent to my parents. Um, and so for me, it's a real witness that I can give to people, uh, for the people that come and support, the people that come and, and pro protest against it as well. Uh, whether they know that it's our birthday or not, it doesn't matter. The fact that we're walking for life and that my parents chose life for me um, really makes the experience very, um, very meaningful. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, it makes me, it gives me kind of an extra um, motivation to do it, uh, to understand that, that 
day I was born and that I was given the gift of life. And, uh, I think prayer is uh, one of the most important things that we do. We're blessed with being at a place that, um, at a place and an environment that is very conducive to prayer. And uh, without prayer, really, the, the pro-life movement um, can only get so far. And so I think that the, the first thing that we can do is, is to really pray uh, for, for a culture of life to come about in our world, in our country. Um, and another thing that we can do is also, as future pastors, we need to be able to eloquently uh, explain the reasons why a culture of life is necessary. Uh, and so during our time of seminary, we can, we can really strive to learn um, why it is that we need to be pro-life and why it is that we need a culture of life. Um, I think those are the two. As seminarians, we can promote a culture of life and we can help build a culture of life principally through our prayers getting involved and getting involved with organizations like 40 Days for Life I would also add to that that being an active ministry as well um, going out and praying in front of abortion clinics um, getting involved with the local pro-life group the pro-life community that's there, keeping in contact with them and seeing what you can do to get involved, as well as getting in contact with Rachel's Vineyard. I see three things that we need to do as seminarians to build a culture of life. One is we have to get out there ourselves and volunteer. Even though that's kind of difficult as seminarians because of all the things that we're already doing up here, we need to take times on the weekends to go to the abortion clinics, to uh, call, contact any uh, pro-life groups in the, in the area, ask them any way that we can, step out and help them. The second thing we need to do is we need to educate ourselves so that in educating ourselves we can bring forth that education to teach others about the pro-life movement, about the dangers of what abortions can do to a person. And the third thing we need to do is pray. Prayer is always the best thing that we can do. Uh, we need to not only pray for all the women who are thinking about having an abortion, we also need to pray for all those that are counseling women to think about getting an abortion. And we need to pray for all those women that have already had abortions so that the culture of life will change not only for around us but for the whole country and hopefully throughout the whole world. I'm pro life because I'm pro hope. Each life that comes into this world is a hope for a better future. And with a better future, we can see that our society will have a stable background. I think I, think I would just go back to uh, just reflecting on my own life. And uh, I mean, life is really good, really. Uh, yeah, life, life is a gift. And uh, I, I see that and the people that are around me, how much of a gift and the people that I love are. And for, for uh, parents uh, to rob themselves of that gift by, uh, by aborting a child, um, maybe knowingly, uh, maybe un unknowingly, uh, maybe um, with future regrets about this, or, or maybe without regrets, I think that that, that life is a is a it's an awesome gift, and and that nobody should be robbed of, of that of, of of experiencing life and uh, and of, of being uh, a gift to others by being alive as well. Uh, the sanctity of life is is 
is precious and, and, and it's a precious gift that God gives us and and uh, we really we really shouldn't uh, go against this we shouldn't we shouldn't uh, take this gift away from anyone it's not it's not in our part so uh, at least it should be God put us all on the earth for reasons as humans male and female we don't know if we're going to be sick today if we're going to get hurt today if we are going to come up down with any chronic disease this is something that is to both male and female if a woman happens to get pregnant e either willingly or unwillingly it is by the grace of God that they have a child the child being that grace is something that is given to her that even in the darkest moments in our lives God can grace you with something beautiful like a flower something for hope something for beauty and we as humans should never try to stomp that back into the earth we should try to strive to nurture it and let it grow and see what that gift is that God has given to us. Thank you very much for joining us today. We appreciate you watching this. Remember Seminarians for a Culture of Life strives to build that culture of life within our seminaries, within our communities, and within our parishes striving to bring the message of life to all. Pray for us, and we sure will pray for you. Remember that we are the pro-life generation, and our generation will abolish abortion.